more community, sustainable use of our land, make the transition, and stop dumping their dollars into oil. Jesse, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. My name is Jesse Ruth Corkins. I helped found the Vermont Sustainable Heating Initiative. The Vermont Sustainable Heating Initiative started as a grassroots movement. We're trying to help low-income families transition from heating uh, with expensive petroleum-based heating fuels to low-cost pellet heating. Pellets are an engineered fuel. They can be made from wood. They can be made from grasses grown in state. They're about a quarter to a third the cost of fuel oil. What we love about pellets is the fact that grass and trees are in the short carbon cycle. We would not be adding excess carbon to the atmosphere by installing pellet stoves into people's homes. Pellets are burning. I firmly believe in sustainable energy projects, and I'm nervous about our future. The students say using and growing switchgrass will reduce global warming pollution. Their plan includes building 14 facilities to process the grass. They think it would take about 100,000 acres to grow enough to replace the oil Vermonters use for heating. The Vermont Sustainable Heating Initiative's work with lawmakers really sets us apart as an organization. I think what stood out is that we were students and we really did have a vision in mind. Today, it was announced that um, we're getting $20 million from the federal government. At such a young age, to be engaged with people making policy is something very unique. It's something very special. Jesse Ruth was able to move the Speaker of the House and the Joint Physical Committee and myself and other legislators. And she's also bright and intelligent and thoughtful. I would say that without Jesse Ruth, this group would probably not have happened. She's really adept at gathering what are people feeling, you know, what's the consensus about the direction we need to move, and then saying this is where we're going to go. My ninth grade science fair project was to convert my school's heating system from oil to wood chips. With the prediction that fuel prices would rise, it was a deal we found our school board just couldn't turn down. This is a wood chip boiler and it heats up domestic hot water that circulates through the school, heating the school. To do this as a ninth grader, it helped to have a partner. We were really nervous about talking to adults about um, subjects that we weren't completely comfortable with, and it was the first time we were talking with adults um, and professionals, and we were making um, bids for professional equipment that were thousands of dollars. And that first year, it saved our school $30,000. My senior year that just went by, it saved us, it tripled, it saved us about $90,000. There have been community members who have walked up to me and said, when I look at you, I think about all the money I'm saving. People have run out of their homes and pellet stoves are flying off the shelves. The old quota for stoves sell one pellet stove a week, and now they're selling about a 1,000 a week. We see the Vermont Sustainable Heating Initiative as a model for other states. I'm proud of what we've done. I'm proud of who we are. Uh, I'm proud of the hard work we've done. You need optimists. When you have scientists that say, uh, you know, we have 10 years to reverse global climate change, you have to wake up and be optimistic.